Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain you how to develop a single sign on in Spring Boot 2.0. In this video, I am going to use Okta application to develop a single sign on in Spring Boot 2.0. The first step go to the developer.okta.com. In developer.okta.com, click login. If you don't have an account, click sign up and create an account in Okta and then login into the Okta.com. I have an account in Okta already, so I am going to login directly. So here you have to provide the Okta organization name. So look at here, after clicking the login button, the application will ask you to provide the Okta organization name. I am an organization name dev-887167. Now I am going to provide it. I provided my organization name in the sign in screen. After clicking a go button, the Okta application will ask you to provide the username and password. Look at here, now I am clicking a go button. The application will ask you to provide the username and password. Here I am providing my username and my password. After clicking the sign in button, direct to the applications tab in the Okta application. Now I am clicking a sign in button. The application will go to the dashboard page. Here go to the applications tab. Okay. In the application tab, you can see the green color add application button. Click the add application button. Then the application, the I mean the Okta application will be redirected to this page to create a new web application. Here you can see the two options native single page app web service. Choose web and click next. So look at here. Here I am clicking a add application button. Now I am choosing web and clicking next. After clicking a next, the page will ask you to provide the application settings. The application name, base URI, login redirect URI, and then group assignments, everything. So after you providing the application settings, everything, click the done button at the bottom of the page. Now I'm clicking a next here. So look at here. The application settings page. Name my web app. Base URI localhost colon 8080. And then the login redirect URI. Use this one slash login. Group assignments is everyone. And then here you can see the done button. After clicking a done button. You can get the client credentials from the Okta application. Client ID, client secret. Keep this client ID and client secret very confidential. Okay. This client ID, client secret we are going to be used in the Spring Boot application. Here I am clicking a done button. It's taking a time. Okay. In the general tab. You can see the client credentials, client ID, client secret here. Now I am going to take a copy of this client ID and client secret. After copying the client ID and client secret, then go to the API tab and then choose authorization servers. In the authorization server, you can see a row name such as default copy the issuer URI. This issuer URI we need to provide it in our Spring Boot application. I 
copied the client ID and client secret. Now I am going to API and authorization server tab. So look at here. The issuer URI is displaying here. I just copy this issuer URI. This issuer URI we are going to use it in the Spring Boot application. After copy the authorization server. Now go to the Spring Initializer page start.spring.io website and then bootstrap your application okay in start.spring.io website generate a maven project with java and then spring boot version 2.0 here <coughs> i providing a group name as com.talktoamareswaran.projects and then the artifact name I am going to provide Octo Demo App. So we need to add the web security dependency, sorry, web dependency, security spring security dependency, and then OAuth 2 cloud dependency. Okay, next click the generate project button. The project will download into your machine save it extract this zip file and then import this project into your eclipse in the eclipse i am trying to import it's a maven project use existing maven project option in the import and then click finish here after providing the project root directory Application will download the dependencies and then it will take few minutes to import into your Eclipse. Project has been imported successfully into your Eclipse. Look at here, this is an Okta demo application main class file annotated with the at Spring Boot application. And then this is the pom.xml file. And then make sure the Spring Boot version is 2.0.0 release is correct or not. And then uh, Spring Boot Starter Security Dependency, Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency, Spring Cloud Starter O2 Dependencies we added. It is there in the form.xml file and also the Spring Cloud Dependencies uh, Management XML is there. Okay. So, project has been imported successfully into our Eclipse. After importing the application into your Eclipse, go to the application.properties file and then add these three properties. Okta OR2 issuer property, Okta OR2 client ID and then client secret. Now I am going to open the application.properties file and then I am going to add these three properties. You can find the application.properties file under source main resources directory in the application dot properties file i added my issuer url client id and client secret after adding the octa properties in application dot properties file we need to add one more maven dependency in the pom dot xml file that dependency is called like a octa dependency we need to add the octa spring boot starter dependency in pom dot xml file now I am going to add this dependency in the pom.xml. Go to the pom.xml file and then add the Okta Spring Boot starter dependency under the dependencies section. Here now I am going to add this. So look at here I added the Okta, Okta Spring Boot starter dependency. So once you saved the application started to build once again. Okay it will automatically reload it's a maven project okay after adding the okta dependency now go to the main spring boot application class file add the at enable or 2 sso annotation after adding this at enable or 2 sso annotation your application will act as a or 2 sso i mean your application has been or 2 SSO is enabled. Now go to the main Spring Boot application class file. Now add at enable at enable or 2 SSO dependency. I mean the annotation, not the dependency. Sorry. At enable or 2 SSO annotation. 
now your application will act as a OR2 SSO. I mean, your Spring Boot application OR2 SSO has been enabled. After adding the OR2 SSO annotation, now write a simple git mapping API to get the user's email address from the Okta. So this is a simple git mapping API to get the user's email address from the principal object. Now I am going to write the get mapping API. In the main Spring Boot application class file itself, I am going to add the at rest controller annotation here. And then now I am going to add the get mapping API public string get users email address principal object I just want to import the get mapping uh, import statements and then the principal object from the Java security so here return hello your email address is I am taking from the principal object principal dot get name will return the user name okay so that's all from the coding part now I am going to run this application as a Java application your Spring Boot application will start in the 8080 port you can see the application status in the console log okay so application is starting now in the console log you can see the status of your application Tomcat started on the port 8080 and then application has been started in 20.236 seconds now go to the web browser and read the url localhost colon 8080 in the web browser i am going to hit the localhost colon 8080 application will redirect to the, the okta application our spring boot application will redirected to the Okta application based on the issue or URL we given in the application or properties file here you have to provide your email ID my email ID is talk to at gmail.com and I am giving my password here after clicking a sign in button then the request will come to our application and then you can see the response from the get mapping api allow your email address is talk to amreswaran at gmail.com okay if you copy this url and paste it in the another tab in the same window then you no need to log in once again to the okta automatically the okta application will send you the response to your application Hello, your email address is talk to amreswaran at gmail.com. You can access it from the get mapping API. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, like my videos and share my videos. Thank you very much.